CrossFit. Today's class, we're gonna go through, we have a circuit set up, total body circuit, and we're gonna run through a 21-15, and I, I like to do 10, guys. I know the traditional is, is nine, so we're gonna, we're gonna up that by one rep, okay? No big deal. Um, a few things you wanna gather for today's routine. If you haven't seen these videos before, guys, thanks for joining. Uh, we're trying to cater, guys, to uh, maybe people that uh, don't have equipment at home, um, but wanna get a great workout. So if you have equipment, these workouts are great, guys, because we're just substituting weights for some basic household items. Okay, so if you have weights, this workout still works great, and it's good for any fitness level. Okay, so um, what you could use for today's routine, guys, is really you could use two to four gallon jugs and have one, possibly two chairs, and you get through this workout. Okay, there, there are a couple optional items we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, if you want more weight than what the gallon jugs can offer, I have a backpack, guys, and I put a little weight in there. We have a squat one-arm press in the circuit. I'm gonna use the backpack for that. So rather than use one or two gallon jugs, I just put a little weight in there. It can be anything, guys, books, paper, old weight plates, whatever you've got, and you can kind of put weight in there to kind of, kind of challenge you a little bit, okay? So I do have that. The other thing is uh, in lieu of a bent over row, which, guys, you could use gallon jugs for. You could use a backpack for. Um, I'm gonna use a body weight row, okay? So I'm just gonna use two chairs. Um, make sure your chairs are sturdy. Make sure the backs are strong and the support beams are strong. And I'm gonna use a broomstick. If you've seen these before, guys, we do these, um, I guess, frequently. You know, it's, it's a great way to kind of get the back in if you don't have a pull-up bar, if you don't have a lap pull-down machine, um, if you don't have a seated row machine. So you can kind of use your body weight and just a couple basic items. You know, the only deal with this, guys, is make sure that your chairs are flat on the top, you could go down low. Now, it really limits your range, but you could go through the seat, okay? Uh, especially if you have taller chairs, that might work pretty well. Um, I'm gonna talk about position this when we get there, okay? So, um, just a few items, and again, they're all basic, and we're gonna get started here, guys. So, the way this works, we haven't done this before, we have a circuit set up, again, a total body circuit, we're gonna run through, and the 2115, 10 in my case, that's your reps you're gonna do as you go through the circuit. So we're gonna do 21 reps in the first round, and then 15, and then 10. We're trying to keep rest to a minimum, guys. So um, even though the reps go down, a lot of these exercises, we're trying to maintain um, that challenge, okay? So you get a little more fatigued as you go through, but the reps drop, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do, guys, is a, is a leg lift. And I'm gonna use a gallon jug, and we're gonna go over. Now that could be anything in front of you. It's just nice to have something visual in front. So it could be um, a dumbbell, um, it could be a, a paper towel roll, whatever. And you're just gonna kinda go over and back, okay? So we have 21 each way, so I'm gonna get, I guess we're gonna get started here, all right? Let's do this thing. So we've got it here, guys, and we're gonna start on one side. Um, use your hands behind you for a little bit of support, guys. And we're just gonna go over and back 21 times, okay? So if you need a break, guys, take a break, we need it. Okay, pause but get what you can using good form. So I'm gonna come over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, That was 21, kind of like leg over, a little legless over an object. All right, I'm gonna slide this off. Hey guys, the next one we have push-ups. Okay, um, if that's if you're not good at push-ups, okay, maybe you just started working out. Maybe you have some wrist issues, guys. You can use the edge of a chair for your push-ups, or you can go to your knees. Okay, um, or you can do a regular push-up, or you can start with regular and go to your knees. Okay, so just kind of match your fitness level here. All right, so. I'll come here, guys. I'm gonna try to keep the elbows somewhat close to my body when I'm doing these, okay? So we're here, guys, we're just coming down. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Okay, 
okay, that, that was 21, okay? So we kind of got those pushes in a little bit. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a, a weight, we're gonna squat into one arm press. So it could be a kettlebell, guys. Could be a milk jug. In my case, guys, I'm gonna grab this backpack that I've weighed in already, right? And I'm just gonna bring this up. So actually, now be careful, guys. If you're using a backpack, that weight would slide around, so it's gonna move around. So be real controlled with your movement, okay? So 21 of these guys, so kind of a, a nice foundation. We're gonna squat down. One, squat, two, three, four, five. Just gonna use my arms for balance. So my hips are going back, arms forward, six, One on that side. Okay, it's one on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that was <laughs> 21 of those on each side. Now, bent over rows, okay? Um, or, we can do body weight rows. So, I'm gonna do body weight row option. So, we'll grab the broomstick handle. A couple sturdy chairs. We're gonna put this over here. Guys, you wanna make sure that when you grab this broomstick, that you're fairly close to where it's hitting the chairs. You don't want the chairs super, super wide. Uh, this has a little more flex to it if you do that. So here we go, guys. One, two, Was 20 more of those. Yo! Okay, we have 21 in out squats. We'll jump between guys. If jumping is a problem for you, just step close, okay? And you can alternate those, okay? I'll be jumping, but that's an option you can do is the step, all right? In out squats. Here we go, guys. I'll start wide, so I'll count the middle one. Okay, so wide one, wide two. Here we go. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, 
routine. Six. Oh man, that'll get you going. Okay, next we have curls. This could just be holding gallon jugs. I don't care, broomstick. Jumps to get the heart rate up. Whew. Okay, we have 21 of these guys. And uh, a little trick of using gallon jugs. Turn the handles. Let me get this. Let me set this here. Put the handles away from you. The jugs will tilt this way and they'll be away from you by so they don't hitch as much. All right, so we're here. And again, guys, you could be just holding gallon jugs in your hands. Broomstick's an option. All right, one, two, three, four, six, seven, Set that there, guys. Oops. I think I'll just slide one off for a second here. So my grip isn't so wide. And guys, we have a tricep extension next. And that could also be just holding a gallon jug in each hand. <clears throat> and again, I have the handles opposite of me. So I'm on this side of the jugs, handles on the other. See how this works? So I'm grabbing here, guys. A couple things here, guys. Arms are angled back slightly, not straight up and down. We're gonna come slightly over the head, almost to the floor. And we're gonna come up, tighten those triceps, guys, and see my arms are not straight up and down. Angle back, all right? Here we go, really contract those triceps. One, two, Well, good job. Make those work. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, you guys, even though the weight wasn't super heavy, I still got a good burn in those triceps. Okay, so you can really feel those guys working. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go to the seated position. We're kinda ending on the floor, that's where we start. So I'm gonna grab one of these jugs that's not being used. Guys, get a drink if you need it. And I'm gonna go right to my 15s. Okay, so we're here, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, focus on the core.
that was 15 of those. We'll slide this over here. Guys, we're going push-ups now, so we have 15 push-ups in order to match your fitness level. <clears throat> Nice work, guys. That was 15 of those. We're going back to those squat warm presses. Trying to get those legs and shoulders involved here. And, and really the core. You know, you're holding the one weight up, and that core has to stabilize. Okay, let's match those reps on the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, five, seven. Okay guys, next one, we're in the back, whether that's your bent over row, or maybe you're doing bodyweight rows. Be careful that it's usually pretty slick up here, so just kind of watch your form. Try to be controlled. Here we go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Okay guys, in out squats are next. <clears throat> okay, 15 of those. Here we go. <clears throat> Pretty aerobic here on these. Whoa. One. Two. Okay, 15. <clears throat> All right. 
Now curls. Okay. 15 curls, guys. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Yeah. Okay guys, tricep extensions. So I'll lay back. Oh. Remember your little tips on form here, guys. Arms angled back slightly and try to contract at the top, okay? So I'm coming up and the tighten those arms one and down. So don't snap the elbow. Squeeze the triceps two, three, four. Do one more here, guys. Really squeeze it 15 and down. Okay, great work. All right, guys, we made it through the first two rounds. You should be a little fatigued here, all right? So, with minimal rest in between, just get a drink when you need it. Let's start our final round, okay? We're going tens here. Here we go, guys. Guys, we have got our push-ups in now. We're getting 10 of these guys. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. Alright, squat, one arm press. These tens go pretty quick, but you should be a little tired here. Okay. Here we go. Squat down, hips go back, arm comes forward, it's not holding the weight. So we're down. One, two, three. Switch these up. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 10 rows. <clears throat> Here we go, guys. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In out squats, just ten of them. Here we go. One. Okay. Going to curls now. Let's see if we can keep this level here. All right, here we go, guys. Tricep extensions. We have ten of them. Okay, I normally don't like the jugs on the outside of my hands, but we'll give it a shot here. All right, so tricep extensions here. Here we go, guys. One. Two, three, four, five, squeeze those triceps, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Okay, hey guys, that was pretty quick, maybe right at 30 minutes, so a pretty good little workout, guys. Hey, that's our CrossFit, found that 2115 with Elite, it's 10 routine. Guys, hope you had a great workout, thanks for joining me. And this is Jim with Elite Fitness.